and then we rest. Time to think and talk and sleep. I saw this in kindergarten today. And I was really happy because we put the, the reindeer fur into them and we have sleeping bags and it can be open in both ends. So we put one child into both ends and they are really having happy times. They're in the hammock. Or they can sleep just on the moss with the reindeer fur under and a blanket over. This was in May, so we had really good times in May, good temperatures, but even earlier uh, in the spring, they can sleep outside. And this is in the lavo, so you see it's a really big area, and here is the oven. Um, and there is someone who doesn't want to sleep, so they read the book. He will have the rest, his rest. And recently we learned on television from UK, actually, that when sleeping, the learning consolidates. So that's when the learning actually happens, when they sleep. So they need their sleep. And parents in Norway tend to want to manage how much the child should sleep because they want a sleepy child in the evening. But science tells us that children who sleep enough in kindergarten, they are still sleepy in the afternoon. So when parents tell us, oh, he's, he's about to, not to sleep at all, so we want him to sleep mostly half an hour. And we sit there with a child that is trying to wake up for half an hour after sleeping half an hour. This child needs more sleep. So... Then we meet the parents and talk about it and try to figure out. And they must understand that it's totally different in kindergarten from home. Do you do the sleeping during the day even for five-year-olds? Uh, no, no. They, they rest. They can rest on a mattress indoors if they are indoors uh, at the time. Uh, or they ha we have um, um, a hut with... It's not isolated, uh, but we have two red light heater. So uh, we put the reindeer fur on the floor and they just go down with a blanket over. Blanket is very important. You feel cuddled in, it, so it's very important. Just a little one, yeah. And um, so they read books or they talk about things. What have they experienced today or what's going to happen this weekend because it's Friday. So they do that. Um, the five-year-olds, they are not there. Well, sometimes they fall asleep, but it's very rare. I so. actually got some problem with my nose with my child. Yeah. He's three-year-old. He still needs a daytime sleep. Yeah. But the nursery don't let the three-year-old sleep during the day. Well, <laughs> it's his human right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to pull that one on them. <laughs> My child has this human right to sleep. <laughs> yeah, he needs his sleep. Yeah, and actually, recently they told us that sleep provision for sleep. You said that when you take away the sleep, when you are not allowed to sleep, um, it can be unhealthy. Uh, you are more exposed to illness. And, um, and, well, try to follow a three-year-old through the day and see how far you come and if you can do that without sleep. I think I would have pulled a human rights card <laughs> and see, just see how, what happens, you know? Yeah. I think most of the other children don't need it, so they don't sleep. Mm. Just when he's on his own. Yeah. He just wants to join the others. So yeah. Yeah, it is. And uh, in our kindergarten, we have that too. Um, so if a child really tired, they want, she wants or he wants to sleep, uh, we can pull a mattress out and a blanket. He can sleep inside if he wants to with uh, uh, Ida on the kitchen. 
So he can have just 10 minutes, 20 minutes if he needs to. So it wouldn't be a problem for the staff. It shouldn't be a problem because why are we there? We are there for the children. That's why we are there.